Hello, hello, my beautiful YouTubers. Real Touch GML here, back with another Java tutorial. And today we are going to be going with our player class and our global positioning system, which uh, sounds harder than it is. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but it's needed and it makes your life a lot easier uh, when doing this. So if you've not seen last tutorial, go ahead and click that link in the description, and I will go ahead and show you guys what we have so far. It is a screen. Um, with our little game loop going on here, which is pretty nice, and we got our paint method that that repaints it, and uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new class. So just right-click on the package, new class, and we're going to be calling this one Global Position. Uh, all right. So we're going to create two variables right off the bat here, um, and it's going to be an integer. So an integer is like, uh, if you're not familiar with this, is like a whole number, like 10, 45, 32, 100, as in where a float is like a, a decimal, so like 4.5, 7.8, this huge number. Uh, so. We're gonna be creating an integer, which is a, uh, and then I, I guess I can tell you guys like a boolean value is a true or false statement, and a string is just like a string of text. But we're gonna create an integer, which is we're gonna call it x, and an integer called y. Now we don't set them to a value because we're gonna set them to a value in the constructor. So we're gonna say public, public, and then what do you think we should do next? global position because that is what our constructor is uh, or that's what our class is called and since we're creating the constructor we just say public and then what the class name is but in these parameters we're actually in whenever I say parameters that's in between the parentheses uh, we're actually going to create two more variables int x and int y go ahead and bracket that so in x and in y, so when we call this class uh, public, uh, the global positioning class, it's actually going to be calling this because remember, uh, in our game re maker reference here, that uh, this is called right away when constructing the class. So whatever's in here is going to happen, and it's going to see these two parameters in here, uh, in x and y. So right now we have a total of four variables. Um, two x's and two y's so what we're gonna say is this dot x equals x and this dot y equals y uh, and that's pretty much it for the global positioning system now let me go ahead and detail on what this is uh, this dot x means this x up here equals x this x right here this dot y equals uh, we're talking about the y up here it knows that we're talking about the y up there uh, as you can see and then y refers to it y if you if you like if you click on it you can see that they're kind of shaded same with this right here it's like shaded from here and here so you know that they're together if you name this like x position and y position we actually wouldn't even need uh, this we would just say X position and Y position. So I'm actually going to just leave it as uh, as this, or the variables as X and Y. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. Uh, so I hope you get that. I hope you understand that. Uh, so whenever we call this class, we are going to be getting our X and Y coordinate. So we will now right click our source file and create a new class. And we're going to create a new package here. So com.realtouch.gml. And we're going to say dot objects. And in the name, we're going to name this player. All right. So we get a new player here, new player class, and this is where our player 
this is where everything goes down as uh, the player side of it. So right off the bat, we're going to say public class player extends global position. And import that. And you see we get an error here, and that's because we need to add a constructor. And this is what we get with the int uh, x and y. So if you just hover over that and click add constructor, it's going to create a new player constructor, int x, int y, and it's going to refer to the super x and super y. And the super x and y is right here. And that gives it this code, which the x uh, gives it this x. <laughs> um, so go ahead and tell me in the comments if you don't get that because uh, I really want you guys to understand that because I never really did till for for a while you know I just kind of wrote wrote down not knowing what it did and that really got me nowhere so go ahead and uh, write down in the comments if you don't get that and I'll explain it more in the comments but uh, we're also going to create some more functions here so public uh, void update and public void draw and in this draw we're going to say graphics in the parameters graphics 2d g2d and import that all right so we've got the uh, the player class set up here and we're ready to start importing uh, pictures we can actually start up with the movement and we've got a global positioning system here that will uh, will take track of all of our objects position uh, so go ahead and leave a like on this video go ahead and subscribe I am actually getting a little sick here so if my voice is not as good as it as it was last tutorial then uh, uh, sorry about that but yeah that was the tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe I will see you guys next time. <laughs>